be a little bit of concern about where Gardner is here, but the flick header is tremendous. And Nathan Baker has struck for Aston Villa. He's actually underplayed this, Albert Adoma. There's a lot of pace on the ball, so Baker just has to make decent contact. Just glance it, don't try and power it, just help it on its way. And that's all he does, and the bounce of the ball, I think, catches out David Stockdale, who's not alive to it. If you want to play this a bit deeper, Adoma, he underhits it, but Nathan Baker's alive, it's a brilliant flick header. It's a Marby's ball, it's dangerous. Stockdale able to grab it at the second time of asking. It was Adoma arriving with real interest. Well, the keeper did really well because the centre half just didn't see Adoma moving. The danger steps in with the time. The Brighton needing to be roused from a first half slumber, really, here. The supporters trying to do that. Murray trying to do that. Shot is on! And when he gets a chance, that's what happens. The man who could be the difference for Brighton this season. Glenn Murray into double figures. The give and go here is exceptional from Glenn Murray. Just draws, I think, Nathan Baker towards the ball, then spins beyond him. That creates the space that he needs to get his shot in. There's James Chester, actually, who he just pulls out of position, and that is a, a devastating finish. It's all about experience. When you've not really been involved in the game, when you have a chance like this to bury it so comfortably as this, top, top class. Interesting. Sit well. Into Baldock. That could be useful. Murray is there. And so often the net bulges in that situation. Sam Baldock's really lively. He's first to the ball, helps it on. Murray's on the move. He does pretty much everything right. He's up early, just nudging it back across from where the keepers come from. Six inches lower, and that's 2 1. Clip the frame of the goal. There is Grealish threatening to walk right through it. Adoma. That could be useful. Oh, and Stockdale has to make the save. It was Kutcher who rose again. He gets too much on this, Kutcher. Just needs to flick it, help it on its way, and the keeper won't be able to get near it. Is Murphy cutting inside dangerously? And Gallini had to be sharp. It was almost Bristol City revisited. Steve Bruce's side in.